I'm in a new province and I just finished up the league with Kung Fu Tree's Challenge Top 8 Slivers list. I've been on the other side of the table from this deck a ton of times and I'm really glad to get to pilot it myself. As always, you can lord up and kill your opponent in whatever match you want by clicking on the timestamp in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the league. I don't really know anything about sequencing with this deck, but we're about to learn. Man, this hand looks pretty good. Two lords. Tap land. Lord. Lord, not matchy matchy land. Snap it off. Our opponent's on island island counterspell. It's looking pretty weak. Or like Ireland. Fairy no, that's Tron, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, hopefully we draw a bunch of slivers and we can just get them good. I guess we'll play Blossoming Sands first for what that's worth. Hey Matt, what's up, man? Missed you last week, dude. Thank you for coming by despite my inconsistency. I don't know if you guys like realize that I hate missing weeks. Das! Ah! Thank you for the six month resub, man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that, Tass. Thanks, dude. Thanks for sticking through it. We're here to have a good time. We're here. Did you guys know that uh, the Tranquil Expanses from Aether Revolt are worth like two bucks right now? Yeah, I'm good. I'm getting through it. New place, new place for the next stream. <laughs> Thank you very much for the resub task. I appreciate that, dude. All right. I'm looking forward to another six as well. Opponent playing not Tron lands, so that's a good sign. Um, yep, here comes to you, Sliver. Oh, frig. See, you get rusty, right? You go one week without playing <laughs> your janky deck. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, well, isn't that, isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> I love this. I really do, though. Who's the artist? It's, I can't read it. It's too small. Making all the S noises. To make the mic happy. How's your guys' couple weeks? It feels, it feels crazy not doing it for like a couple of weeks. Oh, yeah, boy. We're doing the, the Muta Muta kill him with the slivers. Um, yeah, there's a few changes. Um, so Kung Fu Trees is the, as a matter of fact, ooh, sorry for punching the mic. You can, uh, you can check it out here. Sorry for, uh, for punching the mic, gang. Um. <laughs> Tass. <laughs> Tass is out here wilding. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, let's resolve our other lord. <laughs> Nobody can be sad while on a swing. You know what, man? That's kind of true. I, uh, I've i been trying to do some stuff to stay positive. I started exercising again more often. I started trying to eat right. You know, went out for a nice long walk last night. I, have you guys, do you guys do that? Do you guys ever just, like, get out for a good walk? It was wicked. <laughs> have to attest to the healing powers of a good walk <laughs> opponent alchemy is well that's good it's good that tron is off to such a slow start because i feel like we can kind of punish them like how much damage do we have next turn six ten fourteen we have 14 damage next turn and if we find like oh, we can't find a one man lord but yeah we've got him dead in two turns um i'm gonna cycle this uh mm. Let's commune. Maybe we can find another lord. Ooh, another lord! All right, so sinew sliver. All this stuff goes to the bottom. We really don't want. Um, we really don't want them to start fogging. So I'm just going to play out sinew sliver. We'll cycle tranquil thicket on our end step, or on their end step. The sky scares me. <laughs> Poor whaler. I know this guy can be scary sometimes. I understand. Opponent will take eight. Get the potential for 12 here. And we'll pass. They're dead next turn. They're going to have to have a number of moments pieces to get out of this one. I will protect my slivers from lightning bolts, etc. I don't believe they would have one. I don't know what this might be. One a green mana. Cycling... Oh, they're going to crop rotate. Okay. We can't counter that. So opponent is just going to get Tron next turn, but I don't... I, unless they have it in hand? 
I don't really see how that helps them. I think we got them. If they have it in hand, things could get a little sketchy. Because they could play like a Fanger Marauder, sack this. But if they do that, I think we can still get them. Have dogs, have to walk. <laughs> yeah, I like other people's dogs a lot. <laughs> I like it when other people train dogs and clean up after them in the hard times. <laughs> and then I get, I get the fun part. All right, let's see if we've got our opponent dead to rights here. Is this just a drifty boy? I think we got him, gang. Well, they could pulse or something, but also put them to 16. We've still got 16 on board if that's all they're doing. Oh, they're going to leave a moment's piece? Brutal. <laughs> all right, Seagate will go look in. They don't have to reveal the Seagate find, I don't believe. MKM, what's that? Oh, man. Is that a big popper tournament? What did you play? I haven't been keeping up on the news. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How'd you do in the popper challenge? Dang it. Well, I guess that, that's more live draws. I feel like, I feel like they have to have... Um, I feel like they have to have moments piece here. And if they do, then good for them. There's nothing we can really do about it. Wow, good number of lands. Um, no, play green source. Go to combat. Get in. I will fire off precisely a lethal mutagenic growth here. And that's it. I wonder what our opponent had. Do they have like Tangle or something? I don't know. They, they probably have a Fog. I mean, we'll wait till if they don't block, then it's... Yeah, okay. Cool. Oh, well, that's good. No risk of blowing a pump spell for no reason, so we'll pass. Oh, yeah, 4-4. Four, four. Oh, yeah, incredibly loud cars. I'm very glad. The, the next place I'm moving into is on the second floor. It's got actual walls. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have to worry about super loud noise. Here comes Din Rova Horror. Hmm. And just enough mana. No, they have tons of mana. They can't play any more colored spells this turn. I don't know if I want a moments piece here and, or if I want a vines here or not. You just pitch this land. Uh, I don't know, actually. If I don't vines here, what are we doing next turn? I think I will vines here. Or is it too late to vines? I don't think it's too late to vines. Okay, so all vines. It's not too late to vines, is it? Did I frig it up? I'm left six. Yeah, if they had, if they would have had to, or if they would have tried to counter that, they couldn't have their moments piece up. And now they only have two cards in hand, and they have to moments piece here, or they're dead. So I guess we'll try to bait out a count. Like they're not going to counter, but I'll play predatory sliver. I mean, maybe they will. Come on, opponent, punt it away. <laughs> and I, I guess you have to look on the console itself, Kirk. Um, go to combat. I'm going to hold this land because our opponent... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Geek Luke G. Thank you for all the Twitter love, oh, man. Yeah. Whoa, Demir, thank you for the resub, dude. Thank you so much. I don't understand these cars. <laughs> it's, it's killing me inside. <laughs> our opponent flashes back moments, peace. Okay. Still not giving us the opportunity to accidentally burn any uh, pump spells, but I feel like I feel like some nonsense is about to happen. Like, <laughs> thank you so much for the subs, me. Hype indeed. No whelps here, gang. No whelps here. Yeah, I feel like our opponent is going to start doing stupid Tron stuff soon. Like, I don't. Maybe they have like a ghostly flicker. Or, I don't know. Most of the stuff they have in their deck is nonsense, so I think we should prepare ourselves for that. <laughs> On the plus side, we get to like abyss their board if they don't have anything, so 
I guess if there's going to be plus sides to this board state. <laughs> Glad to be back, man. Glad to be back. It, it wasn't... Uh, it wasn't a super positive experience being <laughs> being out of commission for a little while. Okay, I don't think they have a fog, so we're like a lord or a pump spell away from just winning here. Oh, deck, deck, you're the you're the best, man. <laughs> How many? Oh my god, because we had two cycling lanes as well. Opponent being a friend, top deck in the moments pieces like a true professional. Oh, teachings. Gonna teachings for a moment's piece. Well, that's good. We'll run them out of fogs eventually, gang. I mean, they're gonna cast it, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh god, I took it out of the revealed card zone. What if they don't cast it? <laughs> At that point, it might have just been correct to threaten lethal and lead back blockers for dinner of a horror, so we might... Uh, we might be kicking ourselves a little bit there but we're so close like putting them to one even and like wrathing their board i feel like it was still appropriate to attack with everything there opponent sitting pretty on a flashback moments piece and a flashback mystical teachings this is gonna be silly isn't it gang <laughs> what would kft do <laughs> Because I feel like that's what always blows my mind about this series is that we play decks that really good players have piloted to like top eight finishes in really difficult challenges. So I don't really know. Oh yeah, we got that holding the planes tech here, gang. There goes predatory sliver. We'll pitch a planes. Ooh. Modern Mardu Pyromancer, that deck is probably so much fun, dude. And Dragonlord Ojitai is also one of my favorite cards ever. I remember in uh, in Standard, like, did you guys play in Standard when Dragonlord Ojitai was a thing? Because that was pretty dang fun. But anyway, so I remembered I, I tried to build some kind of... That was back when Seth was real hard on the... Uh, playing prison decks that featured such hits as Dragon Lord Ojitai. And I built my own kind of Amiria deck in standard when that was out with like I think it was it was blue white and there's a bunch of really bad cards. Ugh. This deck is pretty bad. KFT would just make opponent draw no lands, but that ship has sailed. <laughs> How you doing tonight, Hell you Tech? <laughs> well, we're gonna get to blow our opponent out like a little bit here. Um because I think they're gonna block and we will mutagenic growth twice. I don't know what they have in hand, but I am going to pitch Sinew Sliver here. Just in case they have like you know. Or maybe they won't block. <laughs> All right, so we're trading pump spells for Dinrova Horrors here. And then we'll cast our Lord. Or I guess we're trading pump spells for a moment's piece, because they can just moment's piece. But I don't... Oh, no, they can't. They can't moment's piece. Unless they have just moment's piece in hand, that would be... That would be Tilt Wrap Supreme. All right, here we go. <laughs> Hell you tech man. I was having a good time like coming coming into your stream there early in the AM and then I gave up on my life goals and stopped getting up early enough to have breakfast. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I wish I could oblige you. Okay, our opponent just cycles a land. We've got a board of four fours. <laughs> now they're gonna can't trip probably into further fogs. They also have mystical teachings in the bin. So I can't uh I can't be under the assumption that the shenanigans are over yet. Easy clap. <sighs> trying to trying to make some more time to oh my god, deck. Stop with the lands. <laughs> this is inappropriate. <laughs> Plated sliver. They're gonna counter the plated sliver. Are they gonna flashback? Flashback your mystical teachings for a condescend, please. 
Please, opponent. Please. <laughs> Condescend X5. Bummer. Opponent feeling pretty good about making us uh, pitch all those lands now, huh? Get your scrying over with. Opponent has zero cards in hand. Like, scry two is pretty powerful. Teachings for a few fogs, also pretty powerful. But, I mean, we're not in, like, terrible shape. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Flashback the fogs. Fog back. Ain't no fog back, girl. Did you guys like Gwen Stefani back in the day? Like, I have more appreciation for it now, given how good no doubt was but like <laughs> how into gwen stefani is everybody now it doesn't have any copies of teachings and moments piece they play and i think that two damage a turn my oh yeah no they got us <laughs> links <laughs> oh i'm aggro man i'm aggro i don't care about this this one damage seagate oracle nonsense come on opponent play bad give us lethal next turn on your 16 life somehow <laughs> <laughs> oh man shout out to eve how's eve doing do you think i remember something being like distinctly not attractive about those pop print paw print tattoos and i was like if this is what hip-hop's all about i'm, I'm going elsewhere <laughs> everyone get in here <laughs> guys we might die okay <laughs> just, just calm down it's not the worst thing. How you doing tonight, Lynx? How you doing, man? Just so you know, Martyr Cash never coming off rotation on the uh <sighs> never coming off rotation. I don't even know why I played that. Pay for condescend. <laughs> I shouldn't have played that land. Well, I deserve to die now. <laughs> Jadzi of Dax. Oh, was she the one in Oh my god. <laughs> was she the one in Jack and Daxter, like that one? That was a punt, guys. You guys can punt me. I'm gonna punt me. I was too busy thinking about who Jaddy of Dax was. Cause I would have got this muscle sliver. Oh. Did she have paw print tattoos? I probably could have attacked this turn. Unless I have a counter it so I don't feel as bad. Nice opponent. Yeah, counter it. See, it wasn't a punt. They can't, they're going to count it. Look. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's, everything's fine. I guess I could also like flashback teachings for some counters. Sorry about punching the mic. I'm still trying to get the uh, positioning and gain back down. I started recording audio for my D&D &D sessions. Erm. <laughs> get out. We never did truly learn if the spots went all the way down. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'll leave a sliver back for Denrova Horror and get in, but I'm pretty close to dead here. Oh, and teachings, teachings for the uh, teaching for the moments piece. No, they just got us dead. I think. Nice. Just drew that one. This is Tron. <laughs> <laughs> mystical teachings ghostly flicker bounce our boy oh just flashing back forbidden alchemy never mind <laughs> guys i didn't watch star trek i'm sorry i'm sorry should i watch star trek do you think less of me <laughs> i had michael dom tell me happy birthday what <gasps> i don't know who that is but i'm assuming they're a big deal i don't think links get stoked about anything that's not a big deal yeah, this is Tron v Slivers. We're essentially just, this is troll meta, troll dot meta out in here. <laughs> I'm stoked to have you guys on the comeback on the comeback stream. Glad to have y'all. <laughs> By the way, everybody was super deadly. <laughs> That's Worf. Everybody was super deadly while I was going through that crap a little while back. You guys are amazing. Honestly, I couldn't ask for anything better. I don't like our opponent only has 13 minutes left. If we win next game, <laughs> don't call it a comeback. 
it ain't it, it's not it's not a comeback though it's not <laughs> i was only gone a week um yeah i have so i played i played against stonehorn stonehorn tron in the hands of uh hell sow when it was kind of coming to its inception oh yeah 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 I love I love how we're skirting the demonetization <laughs> copyright strike <laughs> bounds here. Um, yeah, so I got to play. I had the privilege. Let's call it the privilege of playing against the Stonehorn deck in the hands of Hell Sow, and that was awesome. Um, I don't know if the journeys even should be in here. I think we go hyper aggro. What we got? We don't want no standard bears. I guess we do want relics. We probably want young wolves as well. Journeys could be good for the Dinrova horrors, but I'm not really that worried about the Dinrova shenanigans if we got relics. And you know they're going to be pumping up on all that removal, all that removal magic. I don't really see anything else worth bringing in here. Um, yeah, so what do we take out? Yeah, the Stonehorn deck is sweet. The privilege of getting locked out of the game by Stonehorn Dignitary in the hands of Hellsow. Um, I think I don't I really don't know if I, I'm thinking about cutting commune or impulse and just hoping to get lucky, but I don't know if you really gotta hope to get lucky against Tron. I think we can just take maybe the young wolves aren't necessary. I think the relics are probably just all we need. What do you guys think? Is this uh is this young wolf dot board take out some of our cantrips? Take out some of our ponder and preordains <laughs> for the relics? Only 21 lands in this deck. We drew, we hit our 10th land drop last game. <laughs> or something like that. It was nuts. But nothing exciting to bring in. Yeah, I feel you, man. It'd be like young, young Wolfu, but I feel like these will do almost as much work as a young wolf, so let's call it. Let's get in there. Let's really play super fast, next level our opponent. Well, this hand looks fine, so I'm going to keep it. That's a bunch of lords and a commune. Draws too many lands, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much every time I play a linear deck, and this is like a, like not that linear of a version of it. Also, zoom in on commune with nature. That's some provocative stuff going on in the background of that art, if you guys knew that. but um, <laughs> So I know we probably could have gone like turn one plated sliver, but I really want to keep the gas flowing here, so we'll do this. And fast turn. Yeah, that probably should have been turn one plated sliver, but it is what it is. If we lose by two, that's my bad. Call me on it. All right. Our turn. Yeah, because we're going to spend the next few turns playing two drops. <laughs> yeah. Deals a ton of damage over the next few turns. Yeah, that was ridiculous. I'm just hyped, just just glad to be back. Trying to play fast, tilt our opponent out. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a misplay for sure. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> That's what I was holding it for the whole time. A relic for predatory sliver. That would have been two damage on turn two. I really I freaked out, man. <laughs> You can look for gas once you don't have any gas left. That's like... Oh no, opponent's gonna have the natural... Oh no, that's not... This isn't a trauma land. That's a trick. That's what that is. Come on, untap land. Nice. So we will play... Mm, slivers. <laughs> I made this mistake once. <laughs> yeah. Combat. Attack for three. So we missed out on two. I think we missed out on two. No, we missed out on five. <laughs> to get a Sidewander Sliver that doesn't do anything. Well, we learned a lesson here today, didn't we, gang? Nope. Oh, there's a Muta. What does it mean? Yeah, we would have won. We would have won right here. <laughs> It is what it is. All right. What's got a few AI in it? The <laughs> I 
I threw it, gang. I threw it. <laughs> oh, Adventurous Impulse. Yeah. All right, let's see if our opponent has Infinite Fogs. It kind of looks to me like they're going to tap out for teachings here. <laughs> um, I guess there's no reason not to Impulse here, so I'll Impulse. And that's another Lord. Good Lord. Yep. I thought about it, guys, okay? <laughs> Total punk count, 30. Oh, for just in case they can leave counter magic up for it after they moments piece this turn. True. Oh my god, do they have it? Why? <laughs> No, you're right. Guys, I'm playing this deck like a chump. I'm just so excited to be back with you guys. You don't play this. See, this is this is the problem. This is <laughs> No, yeah, no, you're totally right. That was <laughs> we're punt city. <laughs> this is how I play, guys. Don't you know that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah we i gave them way more time than they needed if they win they win <laughs> so there was two times there where i punted away wins are they just gonna go down moments piece mana here no they're gonna go get mine have not tron do they have moments piece in hand oh my god <laughs> Oh, the tilts would be so real. Oh, no, they have three mana. Never mind. So they're going to moments piece. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cycle this here. I don't know why I'd need the extra land, and we don't need land untapped. And it's another plated sliver. Okay, well, I'm going to leave Relic Exile up. I could... <laughs> what, you make one misplay and you're going to tap out? Dude, I just made two in the last, like, 15 minutes. Um, yeah, I don't think I should leave it up. I guess I can flashback Alchemy, but I'm not really worried about that. <laughs> hey it was my fault that time leave the deck alone <laughs> um yeah i'm gonna leave relic up i think it have pulse or something oh i can't believe i had them dead twice it happens <laughs> this is why you guys love me <laughs> Get ready for those YouTube comments, gang. <laughs> Get ready. All right, let's see what our opponent's on. Not Tron. Good. Lots of mana, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> pulse. Just Pulse, man. Do it. If they have Pulse and Moments Piece, we're going... Okay, so they'd only go to 11 from this. We still kill them at 11. So I don't really see what the difference between 5 and 11 is here. I, I think this is bait. I think they're going to snap off a Moments Piece next turn and they don't want to get it exiled by Relic. And we don't really care about Crusher for another turn or so. So I don't really see... I don't even think we counter this. With the relic. I think I just let it go. Making all the punts so you don't have to. That's right. I think I'm going to let this go. Because I think they're going to fire off a moment's piece next turn and I'm going to want to get rid of it. And if they don't fire off a moment's piece next turn, they're dead. So... <laughs> mm 
Yeah, but they had to have two moments pieces in their opener. Or like during this whole nonsense. Play Muscle Sliver. Go to combat, swing for a Jillian. Opponent's gonna have to ah, they do have it too. That's so annoying. <laughs> Yep. I can't really be that upset because I kind of threw it away, but we'll see. We'll see if we can still win this somehow. It ain't over till it's over. Our opponent has like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. So they can't even crush her yet. They can teachings for moments piece. They can also evoke the drifty boy. Or hard cast the drifty boy. Did they get trauma when I wasn't looking? No. Let's see. Did they find another moments piece? How deep in the tilt bank must I go? Nice. Never. Did it. Have it. Tell him, Mr. Geek Luke G. You knew it. <laughs> I just tripped it. Guys, I watched Straight Outta Compton a couple weeks ago, and I'm still flying pretty high off of it. It's a great movie. <laughs> really is a great movie. Except I heard something about all the bad things Dr. Dre did that they didn't show. Besides that, I stand by it. <laughs> that easy E part pulls me on my heartstrings. Popper Tron makes me want to play Eternal Tron, but I don't think those, I don't like those lists nearly as much. Yeah, it's, it's different, huh? There's, there's big mana control decks, but they're big mana, but like, that's the thing. Wrath of God costs four mana. <laughs> Or I guess, yeah. And like Supreme Verdict and cards like that, like you only have to get to four mana to do powerful things in modern, right? In vintage, you just need one mana. <laughs> in vintage, you don't even need a land. You just play Black Lotus. Trinisphere. GG's. <laughs> Trinisphere costs three, right? Oh, God. <laughs> yep. Well, we're not going to make the mistake of not turn one slivering here, or on time turn two sliver. So tap land, go. Yeah, there's, and I don't, but you're right, there, there isn't like the depth of soul-crushing control in Eternal Formats. Um, yeah, I kind of want to play Sidewinder tap land here, because I feel like they have... A counter up. I feel like they have Condescend X1 or Prohibit. So, yeah. And then we'll play two Slivers next turn. If they don't have a counter spell, though, what if they don't have a counter spell? I think I think it's worth playing around. Sidewinder Silver. Counter it. Yes. <laughs> Validate me. <laughs> I guess they get the scry, but we get to play a tap land and cast two spells next turn. So if they have all their like nonsense stuff, then we can hopefully get around it somehow. Oh, never mind. They're gonna draw the natural. Or the natural plus like a million scries. I'm just whatever. <laughs> play Muscle Sliver. No more counters. No more counters. You friggin'. Does exclude? Exclude is such a beating. Card's so good, guys. I'd pay for it this time. Oh, exclude is such a good card. All right. Hopefully we draw some more gas. Ah. Dang it. <laughs> Here come the Denrova horrors. Oh, opponent's just passing. There's impulse. Hmm. Yeah, let's commune. I'd rather get a creature than a land here. So let's try to make sure we get one. All right, good enough. I guess we can do both. Um, play a land, and if we're going to be adventuring, we might as well do it now. 
Look, opponent, we can draw cards too. Aha! There's no universe where we like pay for a condescend at this level, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, our opponent's on the counter spell draw. The question is, and they beat us in six minutes. Thornwood Falls. More counter magic. No. Drifted. Just drifted. I feel like they got a Pulse of Marasa in hand now, too. It's about to go south real quick, guys. Veens. Veens del Vastwood. Play land. Play Muscle Sliver. Go to combat. Swing of the 2 3. Pass. If you try to ghostly flicker this, you know it's getting vines. Opponent gonna get in, most likely. Lots of lots of pulse targets in our graveyard for them. Imagine they ninja here. Craziness. I, yeah, I don't know what like the closest analog to Poppertron would be in Eternal formats. It's really hard to tell. Drifting. <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent wholesome. Absolutely. Play a lord. Swing with the beef. Seven, ten, so we can threaten twelve here. But it'd be hard to believe that they don't have some kind of fog in hand. Beep, boop, boo. I've been listening to this band called Snooze lately. So good. I guess I, I'm not just lately. I've been listening to I've been listening to Snooze for a while, but they alchem. Yes, you will. <laughs> it's a perfectly wholesome depiction of somebody. <laughs> Come on. Just just time out for me one time, Tron. Is this gonna be like the, the Tron beats us with 30 seconds on their clock game? <laughs> Yep. 15. Opponent 100% has moments piece. <laughs> they very well may be. Tap out of your, your moments piece, man, opponent. So they've been doing this in attacks? Yeah, okay. So we don't even have to risk losing one of our pump spells. It's kind of nice. Oh, they already had it. Never mind. It was in their bin. God's iPod. <laughs> Lots of 80s classic rock. Nice. The the particularly like psychedelic side of that it, like has my heart for sure. No teachings in the bin. Six cards in hand though. Um. Hmm. I don't know if they have enough mana to make that worth it. They know we have vines now, though. We still get two for wand. I mean, we might as well put nine cards in their hand that they can't do anything with. Mm. Who knows? If if moments piece was the fourth card down, punished, but. If not, maybe we'll be okay. Expedition map. Yep. Mm -hmm. And opponent going to pass with a gajillion mana up. 100 vines in hand. Or sorry, 100 moments piece in hand. This is how you get the real value out of letting Tron ghostly flicker their own mole drifter. You just like, they discard a hand size. You feel like a baller. Come on, opponent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I 
I guess we're going to lose a card anyway. For what it's worth, now we can attack through them. But they've definitely got a moment's piece in hand. If they don't, we win. So that's nice. But they do. <laughs> Una momento. At least I won the game that I was going to punt away, huh? <laughs> At least I didn't get punished for playing badly. <laughs> So now we're getting into touchy territory because they're going to hit us for eight here, put us down to three, and we're pretty much just dead. We are dead. <laughs> we are now dead because there's nothing we can do about this moment's piece. We can't block these mole drifters. Could have delayed it a turn by leaving back Sinew Sliver, but they've got six cards in hand. This is not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Maybe they'll punt it all away. <laughs> Go to combat. Swing with the 420 boys squad. Oh, yeah, man. Snooze is great. Schrodinger's dime bag. First of all, red monetization, but also, I don't I don't have it anyway. And also, also, sounds great. Yeah, I've been into that, and like I've been I've been listening to tunes because like empty house, right? So it's freaky. It's like freaky quiet at night. So I've been putting like chill music on, which I was never a fan of. I always really liked like eclectic stuff that just fills up the brain. Uh, I'm going to scoop. I'm not going to waste my opponent's time. <laughs> all right, guys. All right, all right, all right, all right. This hand doesn't do anything. Mulligan. Uh, sand does a little bit more. Bottom that. Japanese electro minimalist artist. Ooh, pop some of that in the Discord. Let's go. Um, I don't. I don't think it's turn one sliver this time. Actually, it definitely is because we're playing blue black and they're gonna have removal for our boys. Thermals. What are thermals? Never even heard of that. Best case, Ontario, yeah. So we're, they're just going to not do anything with their counter spell this turn. Next turn, they'll play like a Seagate Oracle. We'll sneak through a Muscle Sliver. We'll all laugh and have a good time. <laughs> Listen to shame. Oh, they got to AK? No fair. It was not a good day. My opponent had to use their AK. Do you guys ever see that? Like the, the deep analysis of... Uh, <laughs> Um, what do I want here? I'd be okay hitting a land or a creature, so let's AI. Yeah, I'll, I'll check out Shame. I can't remember what I was. What was I? I was saying something, guys. I was <laughs> I was saying something relevant back there. Um, hmm. Take a planes. What does that accomplish? Nothing. We'll take a Lord. Where is it, opponent? Hit us with that. Hit us with that counter magic. Let me see it. Boom. Boom goes the counter might. Mm -hmm. Oh, for freak's sakes. <laughs> I'm not going to save it with Muta. That will come later. We're going to have to try to win with this. Oh my god. Deck, be cool, man. Let's see if our opponent has infinite counters. Mm, I'm still going to go with the trying to resolve a lord every turn plan. And I think I will play that. Maybe I won't. So if I... No, there's no point. I won't. So let's do this. I might start... If they have another disfigure, I might just muta this bad boy. Because it costs two. And I don't want to get blown out that bad. They probably just have the Doom Blade, though. I wonder if I do play this. Do I have four mana worth of stuff I want to do next turn? Not yet. But I might after this commune. Um, hmm, it's not easy. I could just hit another land. I, I am. I'm going to play it. All right, go ahead, opponent. Let's see what I got. Just Doom Blade. Got the Blade. Bringing it to me. I think some kid just punched my house. Blink of an eye. Rip. 
Honest possibly popper playing blink of an eye. Shazba, what's up? Play the land. We did it. <laughs> That's exactly how I want my streams to go. Play the land spicy. That's why you guys are here. <laughs> That's how I know you're a true fan. <laughs> Y'all are in for the spice. If if this was a restaurant, it would be the equivalent of like that restaurant with the hot wings that like most people can't enjoy. But we all get together. Commiserate. <laughs> We're going to resolve two lords. Feels good, man. Need a backup. Opponent. Delver? I like this. I, th I think this is nice. I kind of like this. Oh, god dang it. <laughs> um, this is the only spice I can handle. No ghost peppers for you, huh? Man, I want to throw this Muta into this Gurmog Angler so bad. Like, just block it and Mutagenic Growth, but I know we're not supposed to block anything. <laughs> I mean, I can't. No. <laughs> I hate that idea. <laughs> we two for one ourselves, and then they're like... Imagine they have, like, Counterspell Chainer's Edict. That would be a time to cry. So this is a restaurant here that are they're doing spicy pepper challenges soon. Meanwhile, my opponent are they doing spicy wing challenges soon while my opponent drifts away. And drift away. Gimme the brief. Uh yeah, nice. Nice. All the lords. All of the lords. Ba, 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 da, ba. Wow. I'm still not at the point where I will be muta-ing to defend a sliver from a Gurmog Angler. This is Kung Fu Tree's exact list. So a restaurant near me is doing a hot wing challenge, and I kind of... <laughs> Pathis pacifism is pathology. I might go down to that restaurant and try out a spicy wing challenge. Why not? You know, YOLO. Especially when you eat hot wings. I'm watching a lot of that Hot One show. It's a good one. Our opponent just augering, <laughs> augering them all. Reveals another Forbidden Alchemy. That's a good bit of value if they get enough lands going here. I feel like they're going to, like, I'm going to try to mutagenic growth to defend one of these from a uh, Gurmog Angler, and they're going to effing Doomblade it. But I guess that's probably better than letting them resolve a Forbidden Alchemy next turn, so I'm into it. Let's just draw another Lord, and we won't have to worry about that. Opponent feeling pretty trigger-happy. All right, that does it. Sweet. And if they counter this, then it's a lot less likely they can do anything to save Germ Daddy from the Muta Pump. I mean, it still doesn't effectively get in the way of anything. What do you guys think? Yeah, Yay or nay? Hot, hot Wing Challenge? Have you guys ever seen Hot Ones, the series? It's a good series. In my expert opinion. <laughs> I hate the flanking stacks. Oh, it makes it so tough. Also, about pacifism and whatnot, you guys ever see Gundam Wing? <laughs> you ever see those plot lines about pacifism? It's good stuff. Boom. Always yield, turn off auto yields. That says a lot about who I am, you know. Worried that I'm just going to pass through my turn for no reason. <laughs> Let's see what this is all about. They're going to blink. Okay. Take 10. Oh, 8, I guess. <laughs> Stream the hot wing challenge. Oh, baby. Now that, that's the spice right there. IRL spice, like next level. <laughs> next level spice challenge. <laughs> and is this possibly... <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Quick, guys, think about a pun that has to do with commons and hot wings. <laughs> Scoop it up, opponent, it's over. No moment's peace in your deck. Kung Fu Trees never didn't have it. 
Come on. We got this. We got this. DH. Big DH. All right, let's do the math here. We have four attackers. We have four attackers. They have three blockers. This will get through. They go to one. I think we just keep the muscle silver. I think it's kind of ridiculous to, to do anything about the mutagenic growth. Just attack. Lose. It's, it'll be fun, opponent. Oh, we win anyway. Sweet. Play muscle sliver. Combat. Peter Popper picked a pack of popper peppers. <laughs> Maths is for blockers all out attack. <laughs> True, though. Trudeau, my boy. Flank him. Flank him. Win that game. Boom goes the Trudeau might. Um, blue black control. Three relics. Bring him in. Journey probably like a little bit better here, but I don't. I we're still so much more the beat down. I think the journeys are for like tireless trap. <laughs> Kirk with that hot take. Thanks, man. We in this. Uh, young wolf. Young wolf better than relic here, definitely. Because there isn't four more cuts to make, so yeah, I think it's relic. Uh, I'd like to bring Relic in, but I don't like which one of these is closer to a cantrip, right? I feel like I could take impulses out or like some number of impulses out for Relics. What do you guys think? Excuse, <laughs> excuse the burp. I haven't been on camera in a long time. So my etiquette way, way downhill. Um, Mutagenic probably isn't going to do. I, I guess it'll save the turn one sliver from a disfigure. Because we're on the draw. It won't save it from a Doom Blade, though. This is probably worse on the play. Or worse on the draw. So I'm going to take out two Mutas for two Relics. And I think I might take out an Impulse for a Relic. Let's see what happens. Uh, probably Delver Dex. Um, Stompy, maybe, to kill Pitskulk. <sighs> a little sketchy. A little sketchy, but I'll keep it. Too many lands. You know. Opponent. What if I just like shifted into into land destruction? That'd be it. That'd be game right there. Ooh. Ooh. Um. You know what? I can't play the relic right now. <laughs> I could like play planes, play relic, play planes, hit sinew sliver on time, but. Yeah, it's just not in the not in the books. I think this is gonna have to be a one time blow up your blow up your graveyard. Oh, and doing that main phase fetch game. I like it. I also like him being off two blue mana for a second. Because that also helps turn on their uh blink of an eye. Which was kind of a beating. This figure. Which figure? <laughs> I'm gonna brainstorm. Look for another blue source. Yeah, I don't know. There's uh there's probably multiple reasons for some lands that I'm not seeing. Been a little while. What text would I bring in against? Me? Probably not monarch. I feel like you gotta go under monarch. I'd say it's it, like it goes it comes in in Delver decks to kill their Delvers because it's like a decent threat if they can control your board. Uh, mono blue Delver that is, and that comes in with the gut shots. Whereas you skip the Sun Lance and just bring the gut shots in against Scred Delver, but I might have that backwards because you know, um, Spire Golem and stuff. Ooh, that's interesting, but not going to do the trick. So. I don't really want to leave up vines this turn, though. We, this can't die. <laughs> it's like real bad news if this dies. Um, 
So I think we're gonna go on the hope they don't have Doom Blade plan and play Sinew Sliver and Young Wolf. Okay, hope they don't have Doom Blade plan. Initiate. Young Wolf does not get flanking. <laughs> Incidentally. On it, doing nothing. Good, good. Play land, play Sidewinder Sliver. I'd rather, almost, that this gets countered than this, I guess. Depend I don't even know. They do, they do have their... We'll do that after combat. They do have Forbidden Alchemy. I feel like it's pretty close to stock Forbidden Alchemy. I, I assume they have Delvers, although they might have come out in this matchup. Try to play Relic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they probably don't have Angler. Not this second, anyway. Not kicking these vines any week soon here. Opponent, what do you got? What do you got? You got some removal here? Shoot down our boys. What? Oh, they wanted a Gurmangler counterspell backup? Okay. Sure. I'm pretty rad if we got that relic down. Play Tranquil Expanse, pass the turn. A couple of vines aside next turn to do stuff with. I can appreciate how many how few lands they've hit here, but I don't imagine that'll last very long. I feel like these decks aren't very light on lands. All right, all right, okay, all right. So, play land, go to combat. Try not to get two for one by counter spells. They're missing land drops here. I feel like any one counter, pretty bad news. I guess we could have, yeah, I would have kept pressure on their mana so that they couldn't AK there, but it's just, it's just a cantrip at this point. And we can leave vines up to protect our creatures. And if they tap low here, doesn't appear they will. Opponent heavily representing counterspell. <laughs> just hard counter. How many counters have we seen? One? I mean, you should attack. <laughs> All right, come on, lords. Counter this young wolf. Do it. Nice. Not, wait, not that one. <laughs> That's the bad one. <laughs> it's gonna let us get in for some damage though. Mm-hmm. And kick it. Yes, we can. So our opponent has no blockers. We got a mines in hand that unfortunately we don't have access to because Young Wolf is now in the bin. They did get to exclude, which is a pretty big game. If they just cast a bunch more anglers here, might not be in great shape. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they can still angler with counter magic backup. Nice figure, huh? Here's our clock. What's this? Germ Daddy. Ooh. Ooh. Don't say the abbreviated version of that card's name, huh, gang? Get you some heat right there. Go to combat. Swing for three. Vines up. See what they got. How are you guys doing tonight? Glad to be back. Glad to have you back. I was almost like I didn't do anything either. That was the worst part. Is like I took I took a week off and I just like packed and sulked. It was it's not productive for anyone <laughs> to be doing that. Or are they gonna blink of an eye? This value. Okay, they didn't. That's pretty nuts though. You like evoke it and then blink of an eye it with kicker. Seven mana draw three. <laughs> Get to keep your mole drifter. I guess Ghostly Flicker is just like less fancy. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna have any of that. 
I'm just gonna. I guess there's no point in not tapping into my green mana. So we'll do this. Yeah, so I'm gonna be moving out of here very soon. Ooh, just waking up. Well, good morning. I hope you're enjoying some delicious, uh, some delicious breakfast of some sort. Um, yeah, I'm moving into a new spot that I hope to personalize heavily and make the space a little more like amicable to broadcasting, basically. Which should be nice. It should be really nice. Moving in with my homeboy Rory. He's a good time. Might see him around. Opponent on the two mana removal spell of some sort. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Twenty one lands in this here deck. Oh, are they coming at us with the with the edict now? Pretty good. Boom goes the edict, might. I that's that's a terrible meme. I don't know why I keep doing that. <laughs> Cantrip. <laughs> he is though. That's crazy. Good call. <laughs> he nailed it. Not always. I, I feel like he he'd feel somewhat pigeonholed. Like he's he's a deep guy. He's a deep dude. So I feel like he would uh, he would feel like we pigeonholed him slightly by calling him a gentle giant, but he is. He is at his essence. He's a gentle dude, and he's a big dude. Also the main character of the Gilmore Girls. Any Gilmore Girls fans out there? Come on, guys. Sign off in the chat. I'll shout out to all those Gilmore Girls fans out there. <laughs> oh, God. Friggin' hate control decks. <laughs> Because now that, and it's not even like that one play that they made, it's because I, I have this like sneaking suspicion that the no fun is about to happen. <laughs> you know what? It's like, I like it. Like, and do you know why I think I liked it? Because it's just insanely stimulating. Like, it's so stimulating. Like, they talk so fast and they say tons of words. And yeah, it's just like very distilled television. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty much Casey Neistat, if you think about it. <laughs> Don't think about it that much, but if you do. Oh, are, we gonna, are we ever going to get back from here? Just hit our fourth not that great sliver in this situation. I don't... Yeah. Maybe... Should have saved these vines to try to win the game with. Could have been it. Could have been the lines I missed. I think I traded them with a Gurmog Angler about 100 years ago. You guys remember that? About 100 years ago? Back when, uh, I don't know. I think that was the, when the Franz Ferdinand thing happened. They put out that song Ulysses. Do, 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 do. You know that one? Uh... We don't win here by attacking. I think this is our chance to hold pump spells until we have a reasonable chance at winning with them. <laughs> Do you know what's kind of neat is I can double block this in Rova Horror with these two plated slivers and kill it without losing... Oh, no, I do lose my gang. Bummer. Opponent drawn a thousand off their AKs. Oof. God darn it. And Star Trek's rad too. I feel like it's in some of the same veins. Like very heavily scripted. I guess all TV is heavily scripted. That's that's pretty dumb. <laughs> um, not vising this here means we're gonna lose one of our slivers, and we don't want that. It also means they don't get a draw card off of this. So now maybe we somehow are not gonna lose a sliver. I guess is why. Trying to trade this vines with like Sidewinder Silver. Oh, Augire of Bloss. Why why have you left me here feeling this way? This bigger. Why'd you pick that one? It's 
probably so many other cards. I do really, I love the, the, the stamps here. I feel like I should have bought Masters 25. Are the, oh, wait. Ooh. Glad you caught that one. <laughs> that would have been messy. <laughs> Thanks. We just one and a half to our opponent. Nice. You're going to have to try to win eventually. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't I don't see us getting out of this one particularly. Why have you forsaken me? All right, let's try to find out what other similarities we have beyond that all of us clearly watched the Gilmore Girls at some point. Um, who else was super into System of a Down when they were younger? <laughs> Just me? I was like a borderline edgelord. Probably not borderline. <laughs> Flashing back the Chainer's Edict. Yep. Peace. Oh, that's true, though. That is that is a fair assessment of the number of people that were into System of a Down block like this. <laughs> we only have lords in our deck. Like, I just... <laughs> I think we're done. I think that's it. I think we're uh, we're shipping it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so fun fact, fun fact. Before, so I did have video creating and editing experience before I started this project. I used to, when I, I don't know, when I was just a wee young lad, I used to take pictures or videos of the skateboarders in my neighborhood and transpose them to music. And then, like, my best friend at the time used to ride his bike, which, you know, like, he didn't, he couldn't get into the skateboarding thing, so he would ride his bike. And eventually we let him um, join the gang to to be in the skateboarding videos and i'm pretty sure ramstein was one of the songs that he he bicycle tricked on the video too keep him keeping in mind that i was like 10 at the time <laughs> tops <laughs> guitar music is top 40 phase yeah yeah no, that's true i didn't so that was a phase huh guitar music is top 40 i like that i was definitely hit by that Big time. Um, I definitely, definitely played guitar when there was guitar bands in the top 40. Ramstein? Oh, crap. <laughs> Ramstein? <laughs> Guys, I can barely speak my own language 80% of the time. <laughs> Pretty much only when it matters and somebody's paying me for it. <laughs> Probably more than they should. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Yeah, this is cool. This is this is this is okay. It's not great, but it's okay. I really want to impulse turn one, but I'm not. Not that not that simple. Blossoming sands. Go. Here comes guys. Turn one disfigure. No, I guess I guess not. I guess they're gonna have to wait until their own turn to disfigure and and get our plan all all botched up here. Land get sinewed pass. Hopefully, we can turn these impulses into lords. Dang it. Um, impulse. Predatory slayer. Well, that's there's a lord right there. And we'll play this bad boy. Play a fertile thicket. And pass turn. Probably gonna be predatory impulse next turn. Could be predatory cycle. Not really sure. Opponent on further removal? No way. This deck, a bunch of removal in it? Crazy. No, just an auger, sure. Brainstorm, okay. Don't let me forget about this mutagenic growth, guys. I almost did it just then. I felt myself forgetting about the mutagenic growth in my body. Um, 
What's impulse? Uh, yeah, on top white source, pretty good. So look at that. Bottom, bottom. Do this whole shebang. Shebang, shebang. Shouts out to William Hung, voice of a generation, guys. You know? <laughs> uh, yeah. We're going to have to use this mutagenic growth defensively because we can't let this die or, you know, things will, things are going to get a little squishy here in a minute. Though maybe I did attack with plated sliver there. I'm not really sure. They probably let it through. Tough to say. All right, let's see what our opponent's got. These have been long. Get what is this? Round two? What? <laughs> what year is it? I know we lost the last one. <laughs> Are we talking about? Are we talking about system of a down? Am I gonna be late for high school tomorrow? Yeah, attack attack would mean that I died, I guess. And they were repping disfigure pretty hard. Truth. Truth of the matter, right there. Mm. I think we are game three. Yeah, I think we're game three now. Though it's it's not it's not perfectly evident to me. <laughs> oh man, lands, come on. No essence scatter. Though it'd, it'd be much more likely for them to have something else. <laughs> oh, me oh god oh no i didn't i didn't build any part of that volcano i'm in trouble now i'm gonna start sandbagging lands because of the eventuality of a uh didn't robo horror oh i just made the snap noise with my tongue i i don't know like when you're in person when you make that snap noise with your tongue like it's a widely accepted kind of social thing to do but it's like so jilting to hear it on the microphone i know i mention that all the time Shouts out to everybody out there who doesn't do that on microphones, because you're stronger than I am. I've been getting really into Ocarina of Time speedruns lately. Man. That's a hell of a drug right there, guys. Good stuff. All right, unless our opponent has like a Vapor Snag or something, this Gurm Daddy going in the bin. So let's go to combat. Attack. This is all a bad dream, and you're supposed to fight Billy O'Donnell. Oh, dang it. I friggin' hate old Billy O'Donnell. He's such a jerk. He's always he's always telling me about how friggin' 8 million glitches to Ganon. <laughs> Billy O'Donnell's always being such a punk about, you know, stuff and things. Billy O'Donnell tried to tell me that Delver wasn't the best deck. Billy O'Donnell plays Morositron. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, uh, yes. This guy. What a jerk. I probably should have sandbagged more lands, but it's okay. My deck will just provide further lands. <laughs> We're good. opponent has firmly turned the corner here it's just kind of the story you know like you can't you can't have any there's no meaningful way for you to generate advantage unless you're two for wanting on the stuff and we just two for two our mutas on their groom daddy that they played for like not much mana but yeah i've been watching zfg's speed runs so okay of time 100 percent oof good stuff Oh no! Additional Dinroba Horrors! Thanks for the lands, deck. <laughs> you did it, pal. Um, yep. So we are playing this pretty much unequivocally. We can't commune into anything we can't cast anyway. And... Do we want plus one? Oh, I just want another lord. Yes, sir. Here comes an echoing something or other. Actually, no, echoing doesn't do anything. So... Oh, that's good. Muscle Sliver. And I believe we can attack into these Denrova Horrors now. Yes, we can. Right? 
Yeah. Hmm. So if they double block, we kill a horror. I feel like they're in pretty bad shape, even if they get to take out one of our slivers. I'll trade a sliver for a dinner of a horror. Yes, opponent. Misunderstand the mechanic. Dang it. <laughs> they have not misunderstood the mechanic. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, yeah. I think they can, can't they? Because they'll still do a bunch of damage. This, I, I kind of, I, I call this a lord, although it isn't. It, like, it kind of is. Like, it feels like it effectively is. Yeah. Like, it, it sort of is. <laughs> In terms of creature combat, it feels like that. Additional Dinrovo horrors? Oh, okay. Yeah. I only got a couple of 3-3s three now. Looking like a couple of dummies. I'm going to draw a land. Oh, I didn't draw a land. Guys, we got there. Play Predatory Sliver. And let's see if they have Disfigure in their hand. We do not win this game by not attacking. <laughs> so we'll see if they have a disfigure in their hand no okay good all right all right all right all right all right all right don't play another dinner of horror okay <laughs> that would be so tilting <laughs> exclude don't be so foolish opponent well, it looks like we just can't cast creature spells for the rest of the game, guys. Too bad. Although I will next turn, because they can have alchemy or teachings up. I want to pressure that mana. I'll do it pre-combat as well. Thank you for the lands deck. You've been such a good friend. Frig. <laughs> we'll play the wolf boy. Here comes exclude. Tapping all the way out. I like it. Ballsy. One has to chump at least one of these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But three, one blocker. I feel like they have an edict. Just don't do anything this turn. That'd be sweet. Blink of an eye is also fine. Brainstorm. Seems good. Ooh. Nice. Was that really the first printing of Brainstorm? Cold Snap? Hmm. Though you see to play in vintage decks alongside like such powerful cards. I can't believe this is round two. <laughs> like for real? <laughs> It feels like it's taken a hundred minutes. God damn it. <laughs> Ice Age, right, right. Feels like it's taken a hundred million years. Yeah, I don't know. Lead the Stampede's a crazy good card. They top eight a challenge with it, man. I can't argue with that. That's <laughs> that's true results right there. Here's a relic. Don't see why I'd pop a relic. They don't like the look of that, though. All right, go ahead. You must have a Chainer's Edict in hand. Mm. No, AK. Gotcha. I mean, they could have just done that in response. Oh, never mind. <laughs> just going to draw five for four mana this turn. <laughs> Here they come. Powerful Denrova Horror. 
we're winning the, winning the real mind game, guys, because we have twice as much time on our clock as our opponent. What if they don't block and they don't have a counter spell? What if we just win here? Break. Next level. Too bad. <laughs> I'm not going to kill this. I feel like they're going to target this with Blink of an Eye or something, and that's kind of a blowout. They might just Blink of an Eye third in Rova Horror. I would also like to stop that from happening. <laughs> yeah, they saw the line. Too bad. Mm. What if they have, like, another Exclude come in? Yeah, whatever. Sure. All right. No, not another AK. Come on. I normally wouldn't take such a long break, but some fairly controversial opinions being shared on the sidewalk. <laughs> People are weird, man. All right. Opponent, let's just get this over with. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to moving. <laughs> I'm like literally in the street. <laughs> see if we can't uh, can't mash up a win here, huh? I don't think we can, but I mean, why not try? If I can kill this Tenrova Horror, we're like, okay. So I'm going to block Nerovahor with this Young Wolf next turn. They're going to friggin' blink it. Don't blink it. F. Kick that Vines. So they have nothing to fear now. I'm assuming they have counter magic in their hand. They've drawn about a jillion cards. Like, there's got to be just non-stop removal in their hand. <laughs> All right, Denrovatron. Sorry, Denrova, Demir, accumulated knowledge, nonsense. What do we do now? Where are we? We've arrived at an impasse. I will absolutely block. I now have a 2-2. Two -two. We, we've got a route to victory here, gang. One just has six cards in hand. It's no big deal. No longer have a route to victory here, gang. <laughs> Think things are getting a little sketchy. Things are becoming a little touch and go. Ah, oh, drifty boy. Well, you know what Snoop Dogg says: if you're just drifting, that's pretty good. Get in there. Get in there, champ. Do what you do best. Oh, it will brainstorm. Mm -hmm. It's going to resolve? Brainstorm again. Cha-cha now, y'all. Yeah. Okay, is that another thing that brings us together across generations? Like, at our school dances, did all... Oh, dang. Did all of us have the cha cha slide available as a uh, as a way to dance and enjoy and enjoy your friends? Um, if I attack here, they double block with Mole Drifter. Yeah, if I can kill Mole Drifter, I'm gonna kill Mole Drifter. So let's see if they block. They may just not block. We did it. Killed the flyer. Now I have a blocker <laughs> for this Denrova horror. <laughs> we just have a reasonable, like, we might be able to deal with this someday. Never mind. <laughs> All right, here they come. Opponent, two turn clock. Maybe you do have the journeys for this matchup. I feel like you gotta go fast for that, though. Finds a counter. That'll wrap it up. We find a land. All right. Blue black control. 
depending on what our opponent's playing, there could be an argument for playing. No, we're sidewinding. We are sidewinding 100 here. Well, I, honestly, I don't know what this is. If this is tribe, it doesn't really matter. Just be glad to have a journey <laughs> in our pocket for a second. Um, hmm. I guess we'll still play Sidewinder because it's better against Augur of Bolas if they have an Augur next turn and they don't have a tribe or anything like that. But if they play they play Naked Tribe, we're going to try to journey it. Hope, hope they don't have a circular logic of some sort. They very well could. Ooh. Is a Blitz. Kiln Fiend. Well, opponent, I'll have you know that I, I want none of that nonsense in my life, so journey that bad boy. Let's just hope they don't have another threat. Boom. If you can land one, it typically wins. Yeah, I saw Meng Mengu play that that version of the deck. And also that, uh, what's the sliver you can like, uh, what is it? You like pick, you pick up a sliver or something. You can just like return it to your hand whenever you want. And then whatever one they block, you just return it to your hand. <laughs> Keep playing slivers. Don't have another threat. Don't. Ugh, no fun. No fun opponent. Well, they may win next turn. Things have been better. <laughs> Uh, play Tranquil Ticket, play a Lord, and I'll probably block next turn. <laughs> if I have any reasonable chance of killing this, I'll definitely block. And I believe I have a reasonable chance of killing it. Oh, man. You really have thought about this. That's true. That's cool. I like that. Our opponent did not like our Sidewinder sliver, sliver sticking. They'd rather we block with this Predatory Sliver, I guess. And I will 100 block with this. So come at me. Because we might die if we don't. Aw, oh, man. Opponent. Not cool, dude. What is this? Oh, Probe. Probe. No, they just need TBR now. You got TBR? Is that it? GG. Call it a night. <laughs> I feel like they got TBR. Here comes a TBR. Opponent making up for the incredibly long games in the first round. Even getting in for seven here is pretty good for them. Distortion Strike. Okay. So the, this deck doesn't run a salt strobe, so I guess we're not just dead. We are taking 11. So. <laughs> 11 isn't zero. I feel like distinctly not zero is quite important in this matchup. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. Let's impulse first. Hmm. I wonder if it's Apostle's Blessing. I think we still have to do it. There's no way that this is not the play. So let's try to get a bit of info. Got him. Nice. Okay. So let's impulse. See if we can hit untap white source. No untap white source, but Silver Lord. Cool. Pass. Hope our opponent doesn't draw any threats. Oh, yeah. It's blitz time. It's blitz. It's blitz. It's blitz. Uh, uh. will opt. Looking for additional. I don't. I don't know why. Unless you were playing all of the preordains and ponders, I don't know why you'd be opting for opt. Play another white source. Play out. We want the butts because our opponent has damage based removal, so we're gonna play these guys first. Could be. I guess so, for when you're going off, but preordain is so powerful. Like, it's just this like scry two means a lot. <laughs> Especially when you're in this situation, like I feel like scry two is fairly important. 
No. No. Okay, so play Muscle Sliver. Mm hmm. Yeah, because you might draw into Gush with it, right? I feel like Blitz ends up playing Sorcery Speed a lot, so it's just, it would make more sense, I think. I think, in my humble personal opinion. We just gotta hope this Delver doesn't kill us before we can kill them. Attack for six. Say go. This is like some super well timed journeys. <laughs> what? Nonsense. Okay. Well, our opponent has no cards in hand. We got big butt slivers. So, as long as they don't blind flip, like they didn't set up a real good opting into stuff here, we probably, probably got it. Okay, cool. But that also kind of means it's either a land or a creature here. <laughs> Neither of those options particularly good for us. All of their cantrips work well with Delver. I feel like they would have snapped it off pre-combat. Th this is weird. This is weird. I don't know why you wouldn't... Um. Anyway, here's Muscle Silver. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10, 11, 12, 13, so this doesn't win. So I don't see why. We're not kicking a vines here. So I'm just going to play a slide blinder sliver. Go to combat. Swing! Swing, batter, batter. I guess our, if our opponent didn't block, <laughs> that would have made a lot more sense. I don't know, maybe they've got like TBR for this and then they win. Like they flip it, TBR, the Delver. Oh, there's a Vapor Snag. Oh my gosh. Oh no, we got it. Okay. <laughs> Sunlance is pretty good against uh, Kiln Fiend. Standard Bears for the TBRs. Um, and yeah, bring in Sunlance. That's a lot of cards to bring in though. We're, how are we the control deck? Like we're not, right? I feel like Standard Bear is good and Journey's good, but what do we even go down? Mutagenic Growths? I feel like Muta might be too. Yeah, I don't think we can afford the life for Mutagenic Growth, and that's when it's best. So maybe we even bring the Sunlance. We'll do it like that. I think that's the way to go because it kills a Delver or a Kiln Fiend. Yeah, it does sound really weird, hey? <laughs> Yeah, gut. Git Pro, Preordain, and Ponder. They're just all really good. Ops weird. I don't know. I'm down. I'm down with people trying out the weirdness, obviously. <laughs> but that's, yeah, that's a little strange to me. What is it the Maverick Girl says? Tremendously, <laughs> tremendously interesting card choices. Let's go. It's a good hand. Keep. Divine's pretty decent against this deck. Dang it. Now our opponent knows about it. It's nice that they can't do it. Like, we can fire off this commune and then wait to see if they... Like, they tap out to get their Kiln Fiend down, right? So... Ooh, okay, never mind. So, play land. Play Disliver. Urrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Firebrand Archer, eh? It's not a bad blocker. Get Pro pings us. It's pretty cool. Maybe this isn't standard, is it, is it Blitz? Na, 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 na. And now you just have snooze stuck in your head all day. <laughs> the spice backup, yeah, this is tight. Sunlance also kills this, thankfully. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Who, yeah, somebody won, what was that, two rags to riches ago? Somebody won it with a deck like that? Yeah, we're at 17. I mean, our opponent's doing it. Oh, it's a really good draw. What do we kill, though? I think we kill Delver. Kill Delver. They might have mutagenic growth. I should have targeted this. It's so bad if they have mutagenic growth. Okay, they don't. Um, yeah, so we have to fade a bolt for a turn here. It's not great, but it is what it is. If you can fade a bolt for a turn, I think we're in good shape. Sunlance, pretty great draw there. Naga Wizard, cool. Very well, maybe. Yep. I don't know. I, like, Firebrand Archer feels kind of anemic in... I mean, it won Rags to Riches, so it can't be that bad, but... I think Is it Blitz is an all-in deck. I think diluting it kind of takes away from... Takes away from the spirit of the whole thing, you know? Pays for Gitaxian, bro. Go love it. We're trying to find that bolt. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna take two. Risky, risky two of the game, but cool. Um. All right. So play. Let's commune first. Let's commune. See what we're looking at. Standard bearer, huh? Just another lord. I feel like it's another lord. Yeah. That was tough though. Those are all really good cards. I feel like it would have been better off if I just like drew them naturally. Play a forest. Play muscle sliver. Play plated sliver. Go to combat. Attack with a 3-4. Now they don't have good attacks. Their bolts are pretty much offline besides the fact that they trigger these. They hit lands, it's like a disaster for them. I think I think we can lock this up. I hope we can lock this up. I agree, but their meta had a lot of black, I think it was so it was, yeah. Oof. That's painful ponder. Lauren Mulligan took that blitz deck to win 2 months ago. Yeah. Was Lauren Mulligan second last month? Wasn't it Burn versus Tron? But I could be completely wrong. <laughs> I could have just missed that tournament. I might be thinking of two tournaments ago. Dealver. All right, I wonder how many blocks our opponent makes. They know about Vines, I guess. Oh, sure, okay. So we're pretty low here. <laughs> pretty low. And they're going to attack for three, putting us down to three. But, oh man, we're so close to just winning next turn. It makes me really wish I had the mutagenic growth. Nice, thank you. If anyone's wondering what Discord Mr. Geek Luke G is talking about, there's a Discord. We can go hang out, check out where that top eight is. As we potentially lose this game. Um... Because we probably lose this game. Put on a zero cards in hand. If we attack with everything, and they let one through, we only do 10, so we don't win. We do 11, I guess. 11, 12. Okay. So let's just hope they don't flip Delver, huh? So we'll play Blossoming Sands, gain a life. Play... Sinew Sliver, pump the team, and we're on the hope they fade. 
Hope to fade it plan. So now they have to block both or we win. Distortion Strike kills us, actually. What have I done? Or we could Vines this when Distortion Strike targets it, I guess. And have we won now? They knew about this. Am I? There's no on board anything going on, right? Game? Nice. We won a match, guys. We did it. <laughs> and in like a reasonable amount of time. <laughs> Tough keep. But I think I'm going to keep it. Tap land turn one feels bad, but I'm fun employed at the moment, so I can watch. Nice. <laughs> Sounds good. And when there's no games to watch, you can hang out in the Discord. We can talk about decks. Fun employed. I like that. <laughs> Shazba. Oh dear, Stompy, huh? Well, we're going to get to test out whether. Um, we're going to get to test out just how good Sunlance is in the Stompy matchup. Oh, I'm looking forward to having you, Shazba. Opponent just playing lands. Good. Do I block? No, I feel like more profitable blocks are to come. Don't play a friggin' Pit Skulk. Don't. Okay, good. Wait. <laughs> pit Skulking intensifies. <laughs> now, what's this? <laughs> you should get huge dudes. Yeah, we're about to. Um, yeah. So... Let's Adventure's Impulse first, see what we hit off of that. Predatory Sliver. Well, that's good for next turn. And this turn, we will play the dudes. So Pitskulk, Pitskulk is pretty, pretty rough here for us. Um, but yeah, they won't interact with us probably in any kind of meaningful way. And we're, yeah, we, we're much bigger than them at the time, at the moment. A Rancor kind of messes us up a little bit. So does a Kick to Vines pointed in the right place, or even, even Hunger of the Howl back. It's a little scary. So they're just going to Solana Ledge Walker. Not great for us. We can't deal with Flyers all that well. But we'll see if they can get an attack in. They can't. So that's good. Stompy not attacking is better than Stompy attacking, I feel like. Cycle away Secluded Step. Mutagenic Growth. I like that. Yeah, all right. Well, let's just wait until we have a million. Yeah, it would be, though. But Elephant got on this, even. It's pretty bad. Um, I don't know if we were looking to get aggressive yet. I feel like our crackback isn't that bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can swing for nine. We still have a good blocker. I give him the opportunity to trade with Sidewinder Sliver that way. Yeah, I think... We have Muta in hand. Yeah, I think this is actually kind of okay. So let's attack. See how they want to block, if they block. They don't block. They go to 11. Okay. Questionable. I didn't play Blossoming Sands. Punt. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> uh, I feel like that's a punishable <laughs> offense, too. All right, here comes Ranker on the Ledge Walker. Okay. Not the scariest. Could be scarier. In comes Ledge Walker. Can only be blocked. Can be blocked except Creature with Flying. Yep. I understand. And next turn, we're going to swing for Lethal. Pit Skull, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I really hope I don't get punished by not playing this. <laughs> don't punish me. No, kind of. Kind of punished. So, let's impulse. See what we find. White Lord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're not dead on the crackback next turn either. I guess Kicked Vines kills us. Ooh. Well, that bodes well. 
that'll play. So play a land. How close are we to just like threatening lethal right this second? Pretty close, huh? Play Sinew Sliver. Go to combat. Swing all out. Or maybe we just swing with enough that's lethal. Just in case. Oh yeah, Pitskulk's not even an issue on this board. Or blocks for them here. They just like block, block, block. And this will force them to block with the Scion, so it'll kind of turn off any of those kind of shenanigans. We'll attack like this. Attacking for 16 feels good. I feel like forcing more blocks is... More blocks is better for us here. Let's see how they want to block, if at all. We won! Okay. So, standard bearers come in. For what? Is journey just, like, too inefficient? Kind of is. We can't target Ledgewalker with it, and that's one of the only cards we care about. So I think Standard Bearer is just better than Journey. Because them, them boggling up a creature is probably worst case scenario for us. Sunlance can't punish them. Gutshot probably doesn't hurt them enough. Yeah, I feel like we're good like this. Scattershot Archer is interesting, but not good enough, I don't think. I don't feel like we'll need the Mutagenic Rose. I feel like we could take out some Mutagenic Rose for Journeys, but... There's going to be some pump spell shenanigans going on. Their pump spells are better than ours, though. I feel like I can take on a mutagenic growth for a journey. At least one. And this game's not going to go that long, so I feel like we could trim a commune for a journey. Now I feel a little bit better. No, you can't. You can't. And all of our slivers are lords, but we can do some kind of like as much smart trimming as we can. This hand's really bad. Like, really, really bad. I don't know if it's mulligan bad. It kind of is. This might, like, fog a, an early ranker or something. Okay, let's let's keep it hoping to fog... Or ho hoping to prevent a ranker on this Vault Scourge. I might be able to cut a land on, a, on the draw. That's a really good point. This hand, much worse now that we've drawn additional lands. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this is. Just gonna get him with the Vault Scourge. Yep. So, probably gonna be Pit Skulk. And Ranker? BTE, okay. Gotcha. Nest Invader. Okay. I think they've I think they've seen the vines plan. <laughs> I think they've seen it acted out. So we're gonna just get big now. Let's get big. Should have been muscle silver probably, so we could leave a vines next turn. We're gonna be tapping out at all. Here they come. Here they come. The stompy and the stomp, 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 stomp. I like stompy with three lands in hand. Or three lands. Pretty good. Okay, Ledge Walker. Scary. Yeah, that was Muscle Sliver last turn. We'll see if we get punished. Not so far. I feel like a Ranker would have come down if it was going to. Can't leave green mana up for anything relevant, so I'm just going to gain a life, play a tap land here for if that ever matters. Play Muscle Sliver. And at the very least, we can block their 2-2s two now. <laughs> Trade 2 life for a... Uh, Trade two life for one of their pump spells or something, potentially. Opponent hitting a lot of land, so that's good news for us. So it's just this ledge walker giving us a minute to draw, then I'm happy with that. Yeah, just the flyers. Okay, cool. Come on, lords, or adventurous impulse, or anything but lands. Yep, here comes Quarian Ranger. Okay. Okay. Whoa! Thank you very much for the sub one bolt man. 
<laughs> that is an awesome username, dude. Thank you so much, so much for the sub. I really, really appreciate that. That is awesome of you. Welcome to the Jank Bank. We're trying to slive it out right now. I appreciate it. How did you? Uh, how did you come to know about me, One Bolt Man? And also, have you seen the other animes that have to do with punching a single time? They're great. Um, I don't know why we play another land here. Like we can, I guess we might want to play like a two mana lord and kick vines. Otherwise, probably not a whole lot of reason to play more lands. Yeah, thank you very much for that sub. Thank you to all my subs, guys. That's that's amazing. I can't believe that people would support me despite my randomness. <laughs> did I did I mention? Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, oh man, what's it called? I love that Mob Psycho. It's such a good show, dude. You have to check it out. Mob Psycho, incredible, incredible show. Lands. That's not good. I feel like we're on the back foot here. <laughs> um, because I think an all-out attack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine back. They would take 12 down to 10. We go to three. So we're dead to kicked vines. I yeah, I don't think we can. We're not dead to kicked vines. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. I think being able to potentially take out three of their creatures if they triple block a lord, too worth it. Check pile. I think we're getting in shades. We certainly are. But yes, Mob Psycho is their other um is their other anime, and it's so good. By one, I think is that what their name is? It's like one and there's a like parentheses or something. Um, what's that on? Is that targeting? Vault Scourge? No. Nah, that's not about to happen. <laughs> so hopefully this bodes well for us. Our opponent isn't going to be gaining that much life. Might not want our auto yields turned off just yet, because we might have to mutagenic growth. And I think we've successfully put them on back on the back foot somehow. All right, so now we have to try to trade Plated Sliver with a Pump Spell. Because they probably just win if we don't block something. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Do we got them? What do they got in their hand? <laughs> womp womp no womp womps yep gonna untap bte okay we might not just win come on top deck vines of the basswood imagine oh that's pretty good though play predatory sliver and if we swing with everything we're not we're still not just dead one two three four and they have to block all of it no i think yeah they have to block all of, they, all of them have to block. All of their creatures have to block. They can untap something else to block, but... Yeah, that's true, I guess. They'll, like, pseudo-vigilance. Right. Well, I guess, what, I guess what I'm hoping for is that they don't hit green spells to untap it. So it could, like, potentially be worse, but... I guess its ceiling is a lot higher... Sure. So let's see how they block. They gotta block everything that they can. I guess. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We win like this. Okay, we don't win like that. <laughs> They go to six as well. Lose a bunch of creatures. We will pass the turn. Let's let's bluff by holding this planes. I don't think there's any reason to have it on the... There has to be a better way to exploit the little artifact dude that untaps artifacts. Oh, <laughs> what are you talking about, man? My lands deck was, <laughs> was the best deck that it could possibly be in. And we won the match against Stompy. It's time to go positive. We got that. We got the standard bearer in our opener. It could just completely shut our opponent's deck off. I just, I don't think you can mulligan standard bearer. Turn two, too good. Monday and Tuesday. 
Oh, is it really? <laughs> Rip Australians. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I appreciate that I'm your morning stream. Is it like, is it oddly abrasive that, oh man, is it, if this is stompy, get shrekt. <laughs> is it too abrasive? Because I'm at like the end of my day, so I'm really, I'm really pumping out all the steam here. <laughs> Letting it all hang loose. <laughs> all right. So Nettle Sentinel, getting in for two. We're not going to block with our chalice of the void here so opponent learning what standard bearer does <laughs> let's go that was a that was so sweet what a what just an excellent way to start and now you can't attack us with your two twos either bummer <laughs> okay all i have to do is not punt this away <laughs> And we'll be all right. I arguably should have just like blocked with Standard Bearer to kill Metal Sentinel, but they also might have. Oh no, they, they'd have to target this in Mutagenic Growth. So. Delver, get to Lava Guy, Daze, and Disrupt. Um, I'd love Disrupt. I gotta give that a little bit more thought. That That's that's an interesting build right there. Oh yeah, Flanking doesn't work on blocks. Well. Well then. Um, I don't think it's time for us to burn any Mutagenic Growths here. What does this come up to? Yeah, no, that's we can attack as well. It's missing one more efficient creature. Kiln Fiend? I guess if you're playing defensive spells like Disrupt, it might be a little difficult to be Kiln Fiending and stuff. This is a lot less scary when we got this bad boy on, on board. Mind you, their board looks all right, so we got to start drawing some lords here. Ooh. Got the boa early. That was interesting. I guess flanking is pretty good against it. What do we drop? Nice. Well, our attacks are looking really good. I think we, I think we adventurous impulse. There's a chance we hit something besides sidewinder sliver that we want to play. Um, plated sliver is pretty tempting because then they can't get in with their X twos anymore. Hmm. Yeah, it's weird, but I think I'm going to get Plated Sliver and go defensive here. I think where we've got Standard Bearer on board, we've just got to buy time until we can start hitting our Lords confidently. There wasn't anything else in that stack that I would have wanted to take, but... Now we can double block X2s, use Mutagenic Growth as backup if we have to. They're only getting in with their Ledge Walker. I'll block Boa all day. Let's see what this is all about. Here come the X2s and the Ledge Walker and the Boa. Right, go to blocks. Block, block. Block. Hmm. They're going to get in with combat damage anyway, so I don't think it's like really worth the risk of mutagenic mutagenic growthing defensively here, but it could be. I, I actually think I will. So that puts us in a pretty good position, I think. Their board's looking a lot worse now. We're only at 10. It's not a big deal. There's Quirion Ranger. Doesn't really matter. Could probably untap this, but flanking. Pretty good. Now we just got to start hitting the big boys. The big lords. Oh, yeah, right. Quirion Ranger can't untap anything. True. True. Okay, play land. Commune with nature. Hoping to hit a lord here. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I like I guess that's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they could they could always just they would hit ours, right? 
So now we got the double flanks. And we'll get in like this. Yeah, I can untap my standard bear. <laughs> That's right. All right, man, we, we cannot be whiffing on communes here. <laughs> that is not what we, we've, we've come here to do. If they attack with Green Ranger, I'll block it. Okay, they're not. Sure. So we'll take one down to nine. Yep. And, oh, God, come on. Give me some gas, please. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> we're getting all the air i'll take a i'll take a green lord or i'll take any lord here over just a land drop it's just very good on this board state man turn one standard bear <laughs> get there it's a little risky going off vines here but who knows if we have a if we have an adventurous impulse like we did our commune with nature we just might be taking a forest all right, we hit a lord, and it looks like we're going to draw into additional lords in the near future. So let's get in with these bad boys. And I'm feeling pretty confident about how next turn's looking. I really like that we can board up to as many flag bearers as we can. Need to get big. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. All right, play a predatory sliver, and let's just lock this right up. Go to combat. Get in. Locking it up intensifies. They're going to take eight. Not going to mute it here to send a message, and we won. All right, same idea. Standard bearers come in. Uh, we'll bring another. We ended up fitting our journeys in somehow, right? Um, yeah, so we'll go down two mutas, and one impulse, and yeah, I feel like that's pretty good. Part of me kind of wants Gutshot, but I don't know. Let's see what happens. I guess even like a Sunlance over another one of these, but we just mutagenic growth hasn't done a whole lot. I, it's crazy because it's a free spell. Like being a, being a free spell is a pretty good point towards it, but <laughs> at the same time, <laughs> oh my goodness! I mentioned that band snooze earlier, and it's stuck in my head so bad. <laughs> I'm also listening to this lady named Claro C L A R C L A I R. Oh, it's quite good. Really, really chill. Play the dudes, get big. Grow the boys. Sounds good. Land. Mm, play the silver. I'll shut down those X2s straight away, like. four chord song oh man that's a long one too isn't it don't they do all the songs pit skulk it's really weird how my stompy opponents never get mana screwed <laughs> no not at all that's gonna entertain you for a little while even if you like loop it back around <laughs> it's got a lot of staying power no enchantments one time Hey, thank you very much for the follow, Raphamart85. I really appreciate that, man. Cheers. Welcome to the Jank Bank. Um, all right, so land, get in the way of those X2s. Yeah, and I think next turn we'll impulse Sidewinder, almost for sure, unless they play a Pit Skulk here. Our board is bigger than yours. <laughs> Now, I wouldn't mind a mutagenic growth here. Um, I could see ways that this goes badly. So... Hmm. Yeah, like even Hunger of the Howl Pack's really bad here. So I think I'm going to wait. I think we can take one more hit before things get two bananas. 
Only about four minutes. Oh, nice. <laughs> Five minute video and one minute beforehand stuff. So it all depends on which one, which edition you like to watch. All right. Opponents on two cards in hand. I'd be pretty down with Lord here. Clearly. <laughs> you just want Lords. Cool. Muscle Sliver. Deadly. Um, because I have Muscle Sliver now, I have I feel like we're in an all right enough position to block a couple of 2-2s, two especially this Skargan Pit Skulk, if they do choose to get in with it. Like, I could attack two, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we can't take nine next turn. We will not go dead to a kicked vines. So, ranker on this, obviously kind of bad, but I'd like them to be lower on mana. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Jank Bank, Utterly Milked. It's been fun to hang out. How are you doing tonight? Enjoying everything, I hope. Well, our opponent is doing pretty well here. Epic Confrontation puts us down to 1-1s. One, 1-2, one, mm -hmm. one, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Down to 3. Down to 3 we go. I feel like we'll have much better opportunities to block next turn. Play a Muscle Silver. I'm going to leave up Vines of the Vastwood for their... Scargan Pit Skulk, if it comes to that. Wait, are we just dead? <laughs> Do we take three regardless of how we block here? <laughs> I guess if they don't have a green spell. <laughs> but we weren't, there was no better way to play that turn. Don't have a, oh my god, they don't have a green spell. <laughs> That's incredible. We're dead to this very shortly anyway, but I'm gonna get in regardless. Okay. How can they not cat like it doesn't make any sense. They would have just won. I guess they just win with this anyway. They might have like kicked vines or something. Light up that stack real nice. Cool, we got a two. No way to gain life or win next turn. <laughs> sure. Dece. They would have won. Like, why didn't they? Anyway, <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. All right, I think we're dead. Yep. All right. Last one, guys. We got to be positive here. We got to be positive. So why were these journeys bad? Because we didn't have enough lands to cast them. I've been flooding out pretty good. <laughs> so I'll bring in one of the Sun Lances. And I guess when we're on the play, the Mutagenic Growths are probably better. I, I still really don't like Mutagenic Growth. I don't know what I want more. I guess, yeah, I'm still okay with these journeys. All right. Let's find a Standard Bearer, stick it, and win. Look at stick it. See you later. Bye. Nice. <laughs> Standard Bearer, on the play. Get there. No life gain lands. That feels bad. This hand's great. This hand is so good against Stompy. <laughs> Couldn't be happier. Query Ranger, sure. Land, Bearer. So unless this is like Epic Confrontation, which would kind of suck, like we can just play another one of these. So we'll have to find all their epic confrontations and then, you know, such is life. If they do. Not gonna block. <laughs> Imagine. It's probably pretty good for them, it, like, while we're not playing slivers, I guess. Like, that does give them opportunities to develop their own board. But until they find that epic confrontation, I feel like we're in pretty good shape. And you can just do it all in one turn, I guess. Sandbag it until it matters. Vine's also pretty okay against Standard Bear.
on it, not happy. Obviously. <laughs> that was an explosive turn too. Burning Tree Emissary is a hell of a drug. And it's not like we're not doing any exploding right now. Playing a bunch of tap lands. All right, the gut shot, the standard bearer. Let's play another one. Expanse. Play two silvers next turn. Hope they don't have additional gut shots. <laughs> Getting in for a lot. Mm-hmm. I wonder if they have another one. It'd be crazy if they did. Um, all right, so play land, play two lords. Lord. Lord. Next turn, we'll play additional lords. They don't have any evasion, which is nice. They don't have any life gain. I probably could have attacked with standard bearer there. Why wouldn't I have? Oh, they could have query ranger untapped 2-2 two -two and killed it. That's precisely why. <laughs> now I'm afraid of what they can do to this other standard bearer. But at that point, we will have slowed them down enough that our board is huge. And then we're not really worried. We're just attacking them until they're dead. What's this? Confrontation. Okay. Yep, taking a good amount of damage here. Just three, actually. That's not that much. What if we drew another standard bear? No. All right. Make the guys huge. And... Hmm, I, like, I think we attack here, but they can, they can boggle up next turn. If we attack four, put them to 14, and we have 16 on the crackback, so they can't just swing all out. They might trade, if, well, if they want to trade these two for one of these, then so be it. They're at 10. We're hellbent. They have four, three cards in hand. Can they 12 us here? There's a chance. No good attacks. Well, depending. They might have Hunger of the Howl pack. That's a pretty good attack. If they do. No. So they're going to hunger defensively. Okay. So if they're going to hunger on defense, we'll attack with everything. And if they have much fewer, like way less creatures on board, then we should be able to journey to nowhere, whatever they do pump. Sure. Oh, Tangle. Interesting. Okay. Wow. Get Tangled, I guess. So we will just journey this BT and hope they don't kill us, I guess. <laughs> They've got a chance. Got a good chance. Ooh, flooding out though. We can't untap any of our stuff. Bummer. Hmm. Okay. So I think they lose the opportunity to attack all out this turn, and if they have, pump, they have a pump spell to try to kill us, then we get to get them. Sure. Got it. Where's the pump spell? I guess they might have two. They'd have to have two pump spells. See if they have two pump spells. You got it? Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, brutal. All right. GG's. Our opponent had more vines than we did. 